For 2021, Pirelli are back as the official tyre distributor for the World Rally Championship. And Monte Carlo is unquestionably the most difficult rally for tyre choice and for the tyre distributor. Pirelli have bought 3,200 tyres to this event. Now, as a driver, you've got four tyres to choose from. You've got the soft, the super soft, the snow tyre and the studded snow tyre. Now, if you can finish this event and you've been on the right tyre for 51% of the rally, you take that as a win. Nine times out of 10, you're on the wrong tyre for the conditions. It's all about compromise. Why? Because one stage might start at the bottom of the mountain. It'll be nice, dry roads. But if you head up the stage, it might get wet. And if the temperature continues to drop at the top of the mountain, you might come across snow and ice. And then back down the other side, towards the end of the stage, you hit dry tarmac again. So tyre choice is so difficult to get right here in Monte Carlo. So these are the options. Now we start with the soft tyre. It's the same tread pattern as the super soft. So these, these tyres look exactly the same. The difference is in the compound. The soft tyre you'd use in temperatures above zero degrees and on predominantly dry asphalt. Moving on to the super soft. Now you'd use this in temperatures below zero degrees and on damp asphalt, maybe a few puddles, but it's not ideal to use in full wet conditions. So these are your two asphalt tires. Then you've got your two winter tires or snow tires. Now this one and this one, again, they look exactly the same. The difference though, is that this has studs in it. So you'd use this snow tire, which is a very soft compound in full wet conditions, maybe a little bit of slush and snow, but this tyre has the studs in it, so you'd use this on hard, icy, compact conditions. The problem is though, this might be the right tyre to run at one part of the stage, but in these wet conditions right now, you'd want to be running the asphalt tyre, but that'd be no good if you hit ice halfway through. It's a lottery, it's a gamble, but don't just take it from me, this is what the drivers think. Yeah, honestly, what we try at the moment it was quite okay. I, I, was, uh, I was happy with the, with the li slick tyres, was, was really good, really good feeling. Uh, I think really good grip. We have the basic feedback and feeling from the tyre, so yeah, but it's going to be now different. We can do different kind of tyre choices, I think. Overall, the feeling is, is quite nice, especially on, on the slick tyre. Um, so we have to wait and see. Uh, you know how we how we make the tire call. There will be an element of, of guesswork this weekend, I think. On tarmac conditions, I feel quite comfortable with it, and um, was really surprised. For sure, on the more icy and tricky parts, um, it's going to be a little bit more challenge, maybe, in, in some of the sections. But in general, good feeling. It's all a gamble here in Monte Carlo on tyre choice. So what happens if you get it wrong? Well, we've already seen everybody except for Gus Greensmith went for the super soft expecting damp conditions. Gus went for the soft and it didn't pay off. He lost over a minute in one of the stages. So there you go, those are your four tyre choices for Rally Monte Carlo. You're never really on the right tyre at any point. The question is, can you get it right the majority of the time? That is the nature of this rally.